Hello and welcome to part two of Mammoth Ivory Tuna Buttons. In this episode, I'm going to show you how I drill and slot the buttons so that they can be attached to the tuna posts. Thanks for watching. So now we have our blanks here, and the next job to do is to mark a center line, or more or less a center line, down the middle of the blank here in a nice straight line. And the reason for that will become apparent when we move to the uh, to the drilling phase, to the slotting phase. So there you can see a uh, center line. And then the next thing to do is to find the center of the blank here on the side. So first I'm gonna measure it. It's exactly six millimeters. So I take my marking gauge and set that to three. and then use that to scribe a line there. I do it from both sides just to check that I am exactly in the middle there. And I don't know if you can see that, but... There is the center line of the side of the blank. And then I'm just going to place it in this vise here to hold it while I make a little punch. I'm sure you can see that, but there is two center lines and our um, punched center ready for drilling. Okay, on to the next stage. So what you can see here is a kind of improvised uh, machinist vise and cross slide construction that allows me to move the machinist vise like this and essentially turn my drill press into a kind of um, improvised milling machine. It's not perfect, but it works really good. Um, and the next stage of this procedure... Oh, by the way, this is a Proxon machinist vise, very beautifully engineered and um, accurate uh, piece of uh, tooling. And this cross slide attachment here is something that I bought on eBay and was shipped from China. I think it's normally used in mini lathes and things like this, um, but I've adapted it to hold this mini vise, it's, I think 40 millimeters uh, machinist vise, and, uh, and I've attached it to this platform here so that it can be clamped to the uh, drill press bed. Um, Okay, so the next stage here is to drill a small four millimeter, very shallow uh, I don't know what you call that, a recess on the blank which is to accept the, the very tip of the, um, of the tuner post and to kind of hide that join there a little bit better. And the way I'm going to do this is with this four millimeter bit. I've cut this one a little bit short so that it will fit in the setup here with my um, drill press and cross slide vice construction, which is just a little bit too high for a normal length four millimeter bit. But maybe your drill press is a bit has a deeper reach than mine. So 
So we place that in the vise like that. Raise this up. And then just get this in position over the pilot punch hole that we made earlier. And then drill a little recess. And there you can see, that's all it is. It's barely a, a millimeter, maybe half a millimeter or so. Now the next stage is kind of a funny one. What we have to do is put this two millimeter drill bit, which we will be using normally, upside down. in the drill press and we're going to use this as a kind of guide to make sure that we can line up this center line with the drill bit so that we know when we drill this pilot hole now that it will be um, dead straight within the blank that we just made and that's why we drew this center line on here earlier so the way I do that is to actually place the blank in this way around. We can move this up to make things a little bit easier. Not too far because and clamp that in place. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but what I'm doing now is I'm just checking that when I put this drill bit down, that it does indeed line up with that center line there. You can just about see that it does, so we know that the blank is pretty straight there. Just make sure it's clamped up nice and tight and then take the 2 mil drill bit out and put it the right way around move our blank into position and drill that hole maybe 5-6 millimeters or something like that So the next bit is to do the slot, and that's where this cross slide vise comes in handy. And for that I'm going to be using this 2mm um, Dremel router milling bit. I'm not sure what it is exactly, but it has a flat, it's an end mill is what it is, it's a 2mm end mill. And I'm going to place it into the drill like so. And the first thing to do is to just check that the cross slide is running nice and parallel to the bit. Which I think it is, so we're going to clamp it in place to the drill press bit. I think it moved a little bit there, let's check again. I say that's pretty parallel for what we need. So now to make sure that the blank sits 
nice and straight and and the the the, the slot that we're going to cut is parallel to the um to the to the to the drill hole that we just put in we put the the blank onto <coughs> a bit like this and then lower it down in place but i see that that's not quite all right let's move that over yeah that's better and now we can just check again that it's nice and parallel Yeah. Make sure that clamp is nice and tightly down. Yes. And now we move the cross slide over to the very edge of that recess that we made before with the four millimeter bit. And we're ready to cut the first side of the slot. And then the same procedure for airplane going overhead. For the other side. Now you can see that we have quite a nice little slot there. It's a little bit of an angle for some reason. I haven't quite figured out why that is yet, but that doesn't matter because the tuna post, post is, is round, so it, it really doesn't matter which way the slot is going. And we can widen that a little bit later with a needle file if we need to, but right now that's a nice little slot ready for the tuna post. So that's it for part two. In part three, I'm gonna move on to this, which is a jig that I made for adding the curved radius to the sides of the tuner buttons. Thanks for watching and see you next time.